relationships, you can kind of, sometimes they can, they can fall out. And I think with siblings, or at least in our case, we've been fortunate enough, even if we have had, um, you know, some tough conversations or disagreements, we're still sisters. So that bond's, you know, in our eyes, unbreakable. Um, so she stuck with me for life. I would say I always admired, looked up to, wanted to be Kel. I was also, I think in her eyes, like the annoying sister who had to come to everything, who was always there, who was always wanting to like be involved, but it was Kel's time. And I think that was the hardest part maybe for you um, is that I was always around. I'd say Kel's the first person I call if there's anything I ever need. So talking through life, talking through whether home it's decor. home decor and the things <laughs> I like. Even as we got to college, the level of understanding that we had for each other, how good we knew each other could be, was definitely like the motivation for us to like continue to keep going because we were so competitive and we wanted the best um, out of each other, but we also both wanted to reach that same level of success in any aspect of our life. You're built in loyalty and trust. And I think for both of us, just as people in general, um, those are two values that we, we place a lot of stock in that, that are extremely important to us. So I think the fact that I don't ever have to question where her loyalty resides is, is honestly for me, it's, it's 